Might help if I take the lens cap off, eh? Okay guys, so this here is my gecko enclosure. This is my first ever attempt at, I don't even know what you call that. This is all made out of styrofoam or what do you call it? I call it styrofoam. Poly box, people call it poly box, whatever. Anyway, um, and then some grout, tile grout stuff over the top and a bit of um, old house paint. And yeah, um, as we can see, it's a little bit de deconstructed at the moment. I've taken some plants out. Um, usually they're out there in the corner as well. Just hang them out, uh, changing them, whatnot. So Lucy lives in there. Lucy is, oh, when was she born? February 2018. So she's almost one year old now. And this side, I'll be putting Little Fella in there. So Little Fella is due to turn up on Tuesday. It's now Sunday for me. So um, I need to get my A into G and get something done about this. But um, what was I going to say? Now, yeah, he's going to be called Little Fella for as long as it takes because the leopard geckos can, they normally, uh, mate, jeez, I'm really good at not thinking at the moment. Leopard geckos gender when they're in the egg is dependent on temperature. So depending on what temperature you incubate your eggs, you can either get just boys or at another specified temperature you can get a combo of boys and girls um, and then the other one is uh, you can just get girls right so anyway Lucy was temperature incubated to be a boy but Lucy is not a boy so um, I'm not gonna make the mistake of naming this one that's going to be going on this side until I know for sure whether it is a boy or a girl, which normally about nine months old, you can definitely be sure about it. I made this enclosure out of an old, uh, we would call it like a tip top freezer. Um, tip top's an ice cream company, the biggest one in New Zealand, so I don't know if you guys are aware of it overseas or whether you have your own kind of division of it. So um, at the time I couldn't be bothered spending hundreds of dollars on an Exoterra terrarium or whatever. Um, but I had this old freezer. So uh, flipped it on its side, drilled some holes in the back. I've got a USB fan at the back for ventilation that goes on with the UVB light twice a day. Um, I've got my little temperature gauge and stuff over here. It is running on a thermostat. That stuff, that pile of spaghetti there. And that at the bottom is actually an ag mat. So yeah. So I've got to get on to sorting this one out. And that's what all the plants are for. I'm gonna try and make it look a little bit more pretty. So I'll have to figure that out while I do it. So first things first, I've just made a little alteration here so it fits in snug and now my my washing needs folding any volunteers. Um, now my hot glue gun is heating up and I'm going to glue that to there so that that stays in one piece and then I'm going to be working on the back stick that all together and then I'll be able to pull that out and work on it outside of the enclosure uh, so that means I can leave Lucy in there for now um, without her getting fumigated basically as you can see it's out now um, got to fill in some gaps with some hot glue for starters and then I've got to add in the rest of the styrofoam or poly, whatever you want to call it, um, to make his hides and stuff. This is how far I've got, so this is just... <clears throat> you just draw like the opening of your cave and then the line above the top and then you get the razor blade and put it 
through on an angle so you make it an angle to graduate up to the next level etc um, and then you just put once that one's cut out put that one back down on your piece of poly and then get your vivid and roll out where you want to cut the next one um, and then cut it and then you just hot glue them together like so and so that's the front of the first cold hide and now I basically have to build the shelter part and I want some little I don't know like little stairs so I can get up to the top part and then I'll put another small little hide here and some places for plants I think noisy so as you can see I'm trying to put some texture in to this one I pretty much got the construction done as such um, I'm pretty happy with that I mean I've got to make a shelter for its warm hide which will have an ice cream container in it um, yeah so how I'm doing this is I'll show you on here you just stab it in a bit and flick it out and you make the deeper bits and then it's just over and over again in different directions so it looks like something other than styrofoam or whatever you want to call it. Um, just a bit of texture. When you put a when you pretend to make a hopefully I don't break anything. It's hard to do with one hand. You basically just keep digging in the one spot till you've got the supposed stone done. So I'm going to try and avoid having to use grout this time. I'm just going to give it a thick paint, a uh, coat of paint, thick paint of what a dork. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do that, and it's just pretty bloody boring, so, yeah. Uh, oh, that's my gimbal up too, excuse me. I cleaned out that, so just got to retake the mat down there, and ta-da. So those gaps there are for food dish, water dish calcium dish and yeah now I've got to decide whether I want to heat gun this and smooth it out a bit before I paint it or what I'm not too sure what to do but yeah it took all day pretty much well most of it um and that's Bobby's mess but look at my mess I have made such a mess so good thing I've got the vacuum cleaner there. I guess I'll vacuum that up. And yeah. stuffed so I guess you guys will see it when it's all painted and probably finished on Wednesday's video hope you guys have enjoyed <laughs>